Mountains County Fire Rescue. This is for the uh, major capital equipment for firefighting purposes, including firefighting vehicles and improvements to firefighting facilities, including training facilities. Uh, as y'all are aware, we previously con constructed a drill field with uh, SPLOS funds and all the volunteers and paid staff uh, are certified uh, using that firefighter one classification and training, uh, which exceeds the minimum training required for volunteers uh, in the state. A drill field helps us coordinate that training uh, and improves our uh, efficiency because you're able to use multiple multiple departments are able to use that. Y'all have each had an opportunity to go there and look at our tower, our burn building. Uh, we are proposing in this uh, SPLOS funds to complete a uh, drafting pit there as well as uh, close in part of the warehouse that uh, we will use for a permanent classroom. We've been using a portable classroom since uh, Forever, and uh, this will enable us to uh, eliminate that. And we also have some maintenance uh, for some of the volunteer stations. Those are North Lounge, West Side, Naylor, East Side, South Side. And those include uh, HVAC, restrooms, etc. And then we have all the apparatus uh, that is necessary for us to maintain uh, our ISO rating. Uh, over half of the county's equipment, you will note there, is 17 years old. We've been very fortunate to uh, have been able to maintain that equipment to the caliber it is uh, today. But uh, in order to be good stewards of the taxpayers' dollars and provide that service, I think it's important that we look at replacement um, the following page is the uh, proposed, proposed priority list from the chief. And uh, you'll notice that uh, number one is the uh, engine replacement. Uh, we've got uh, 18 engine companies. I think you all are aware of that. Uh, several years ago, when we consolidated the fire departments, insurance premium tax was used to purchase equipment. We purchased nine at one time. Uh, and we only have one uh, surplus uh, apparatus right now and we are really re uh, required to have three uh, in order to meet ISO or to not lose points on our ISO. Uh, we're also looking at uh, Brush truck, all the stations have a brush truck except station 10. This will enable us to address that. Uh, command vehicles, which are anywhere from 175 to 220,000 miles, uh, they are reaching their life expectancy and also becoming uh, concerned for the safety of the individuals driving those. Looking for an air truck, um, which is uh, oldest of uh, those uh, air trucks we want to replace it and uh, we just uh, also need to look at engine 10 uh, that uh, is the one at the paid station you'll notice that it's averaging about 30,000 miles a year and uh, we'll need to be replacing the pump um, during this loss cycle Vehicles for code enforcement, uh, construction uh, at the drill field that I've already mentioned, the uh, improvements to those volunteer stations, and then you'll see a breakdown on the actual apparatus and the equipment that's proposed and the total cost there. So that is a sizable uh, amount.
Um, we did to your question earlier, Commissioner Powell, check the um, pricing on the sky green the bunker so that we don't end up with five that wear out all the same time. <coughs> um, in checking with several of the companies we've purchased for, from in the past, multiples of two get us no better and get us the best we can get. So I think that the, the chief's thinking right now is if we purchase two and there's three um, during the swap process, that that would give us a, a stagger there. And, and the best benefit price-wise. Okay. I guess one of my, another question I have is, I know Engine 10 is getting all the mileage put on it. Um, what, have we looked at what determines when Engine 10 is toned out and what is absolutely necessary for them to be toned out for versus running the mileage on everything? It's toned down on, out on every fire. It's first out. Uh, and uh, isn't it going out with every ambulance call and stuff like that also? Not in your team. Okay. A, a response is coming from st station 10, but not necessarily engine 10. Okay. But uh, it is, it, and it was designed, the plan was designed for that when we went to paid staff, that uh, paid staff would be the first out. Right. So we knew that they would be. Uh, <coughs> incurring this uh, mileage and increase in mileage exactly how much we get done. but uh, that is the purpose as it stands with our fire plan right now. And that apparatus along with the old engine pin are the only two apparatus we have in the county that you can respond with a full engine company. All of the other trucks you've only got two to three people that are going to be able to roll in that truck so you'd have to roll Right. No, I'm with you. I thought at one time they were they were responding out for other tone outs in addition to just fire calls, and it it was putting a lot of additional mileage on it. But I'm not 100% on that. I, I don't think that's the case. Okay. I'll verify that with the chief, but I do believe that. It's, uh, yeah, I, I I'm not aware that they're using uh, engine 10 for every response. When I say 10, I don't know the number on the new one we bought a couple of years ago, but I'm just saying at the full-time full station. It's 10. It's, it, that, that truck for that station, the numbers are associated with their station. Okay. So that's the, the main apparatus for okay. headquarters for station 10. So whenever the old engine 10 went to a new station, it got a new number. Okay. I think it went to station 6, so it's engine 6 now. Okay, cool deal. <clears throat> Any other questions on the fire? Do have any questions? No, I, I mean, I appreciate the support of the commission and let's, you know, trying to ramp up what we need to do for the fire department. So I appreciate that. Next item.